God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. There's something beautiful about praying the prayers that millions before us have prayed over their families and communities and their churches. It connects us to something greater than ourselves, something that we can't see with our eyes day in and day out. It's so easy to live our lives completely detached from the historic church, not realizing how we ended up where we are or who came before us. But the church has been praying and singing scripture together since we read about it in Acts. And while we might be doing it in different languages now and as different nationalities all over the globe, um, and we might call ourselves different things based on our denomination, there is something powerful and unifying about praying scripture together. That reminds us that we, the global church, past, present, and future, have at least one thing in common. Hopefully more. This hope in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus of Nazareth. The gospel, this thread of God's redemptive story that weaves together all of human history, culminates in the person who is Jesus Christ and connects us through faith and belief to each other and to this church and to God himself. In this prayer, Paul reminds the church that their hope and joy is to be fixated on this one thing, belief. And what is this magical belief that Paul says results in hope and joy? Well, it's the gospel. So many times we view the gospel as the beginning of our faith, right? It's this, this tiny seed and it's the most basic information that we need to know in our heads to be right before God. But the power of the gospel isn't just to save us. The power of the gospel also sustains us. We need to daily remind ourselves of the gospel. We need to retell the story over and over again. The good news that Jesus is the Son of God. He is who he said he was. He became human and lived this perfect life. He destroyed sin by dying on the cross and he offers new life through his physical resurrection. And because he rose from the grave, one day, no matter what happens to me before then, if I believe, I will be raised with him. This good news should never grow old, but if you're like me, and if we're honest, we lack a certain amount of enthusiasm that maybe we had when we first heard this message. But according to Paul, this message, this gospel, has the ability to restore and renew our hope. So where do we turn when we're feeling hopeless? How about when the circumstances around us make us feel like we lack control? Like we don't have any joy? Uncertainty is nothing new. Right? But certainly the coronavirus has magnified the fact that the systems we often put our hope in are far more unstable than we thought. Health, wealth, and security, it's, it's all beyond our control. But the gospel, this has been tested for more than 2,000 years and it is the most secure supply of hope and joy that we could possibly put our trust in. If you are lacking hope today or feeling overwhelmed by everything and you're joyless, remind yourself of the gospel message. Retell it to yourself this morning. It is belief in this truth that gives us hope and joy. And it is in the environment of belief in the gospel that the Holy Spirit's power uh, is abundant in our life. Take a moment to reflect and meditate on the gospel. Jesus himself summarized it in Luke 24. And he, he says right here in uh, verse 45, that then he opened their minds to understand the scripture. So what he's about to say is Jesus' summary of the entire revelation of God. 
Old Testament and New Testament. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. Take a moment with your family, or maybe you're by yourself, or maybe uh, with a, a small group of friends um, at a responsible distance, of course. But take a moment to reflect on this scripture. Reflect on, on the gospel. Pray that God would just restore the hope and joy in the gospel, the excitement that you first had when you first heard it. And then pray over yourselves and your family and your church and your communities. Pray this verse in Romans. May the God of hope fill me, fill us, fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we may abound.